outline of my presentation. So the first is the history of the Philippine flag, the origins and symbols of the Philippine flag. The third is the Republic Act 8491, or the Flag and Heraldic Code of the Philippines, the proper display of the Philippine flag, the Philippine National Anthem, the Lupang Hinirang, and finally, the penal provisions of Republic Act 8491. So, sa history sa tano. Uh, anyway, ang akong presentation is very short kasi this is just a refresher of what we've learned during our, our elementary days and high school days. So, pas-pasis siya. Then, ang kasagalan rin ng mga, mga items nga ako i-discuss, siguro mura na siya katong nalimta na nato. No? So, just a recollection of what we've learned. Okay? Let's uh, start with the history of the Philippine flag. The Philippine flag was personally conceived by General Emilio Aguinaldo, President of the Revolutionary Government of the Philippines, during the Revolution of the Philippines, a uh, revolutionary government. So it was soon by Mrs. Marcela Agoncillo, the wife of the first Filipino diplomat, Fil Felipe Agoncillo at 535 Morrison Hill Road, Hong Kong. And the flag was made within five days and handed over by Mrs. Agoncillo to General Aguinaldo on May 17, 1898. <clears throat> So the Philippine flag received its first baptism of the fire blood during a blood encounter between the Filipino forces and Spanish Marines on May 28, 1898 at Barrio Alapan Imos Cavite. So before magoda makuha ng, ang, ang mga flag bitaw nato, no, even in other countries, dapat una siya mahimong official flag yun nato, muagi na siya baptism of fire and blood sa mga gera. So during, uh, on May 28, 1898, that was the first baptism of our Philippine national flag. And on June 12, 1898, the Philippine flag was first unfurled for the first time at the historic window of the Aguinaldo Mansion in Kawit, Cavite, as the country's independence was being proclaimed before the Filipino people. So during the American regime, the display of the Philippine flag at any places was prohibited and it provided severe punishment for violators. So there was a time na ang mga ang atong flag, kung atong nang iwag ay wipe sa asa sa atong balkon, sa atong, sa mga plaza, hindi na sa pwede during that time. Kay doon na siya punishment na severe yung kuno kayo, according to the history, no? So the prohibition was lifted 11 years later and reverence to the Philippine flag was allowed by virtue of an executive order which declared October 30, 1919 as the Philippine Flag Day. So, mauna siya ang atuang origins and symbols of, of our national flag. The white triangle, the three stars, and eight rays of the sun. So, the white triangle signifies the distinctive emblem of the famous society of the Katipunan, which by means of its blood compact inspired the masses to rise in revolution. So the three stars signifies the three principal islands of the archipelago, the Luzon, Mindanao, and Panay. Wala pa Visaya sa una, Panay pa siya. So ang eight rays of the sun signifies the eight provinces that revolted against Spain during the Spanish Revolution. Manila, Cavite, Bulacan, Pampanga, Nueva Ecija, Bataan, Laguna, and Batangas. Those were the eight provinces. So unsa man yung blue, red, and white, this commemorates the flag of the United States of North America, ang tawag ni is the USA, as a manifestation of our profound gratitude towards this great nation for its disinterested protection. So, wala pa tayo mga, uh, mga, mga kwan sa ano, kato, mga bayanihan act, wala pa, pero ang, ang America yun na protect yun sa tuwa after sa ating independence from the American forces, American government. So, the symbol of the Philippine flag the Philippine flag has a rectangular design that consists of a white equilateral triangle. Kanabit ang puti. So, parehas ang, ang, ang measurement is the same. It's the both sides, uh, sides. Symbolizing liberty, equality, and fraternity. Ang horizontal blue stripes naman is for peace, truth, and justice. While the horizontal red stripe is for patriotism and valor. So, Republic Act 8491 or the Flag and Heraldic Code of the Philippines. Uh, this was uh, proclaimed, issued on July 28, 1997, which mandates that the reverence and respect shall be accorded at all times to the Philippine flag, the 
national anthem and other national symbols that embody the country's ideals, traditions, and express the principles of sovereignty and national solidarity. It is also intended to invigorate love of country and underscore the importance of complying with standards, expressions of respect for our national symbols. So the flag is the country's most cherished symbol. It is the nation's emblem for freedom. It symbolizes patriotism, love of country and sense of nationhood and embodies the aspirations and sentiments of the Filipino people in their unceasing quest for independence. Ana ana this is the next slide mino kajot lang kay murugla na daot So next is the proper display of the Philippine flag So it's flown from a flag pole it's blue field on top in time of peace and the red field on top in time of war So kung ang flag dato is in hanging position the blue field shall to be uh, shall be to the right observer's point of view in time of peace and the red field to the right of service point of view in time of war. So the Philippine flag shall be displayed in all public buildings, official residences, public plazas, and institutions of learning throughout the year. So if planted on the ground, the flagpole shall not be, shall be at a prominent place and shall be of such height as would give the nation a national flag commanding position in relation to the building in the vicinity. So, kung doon natin building, mas dapat mas taas pa natin ang flag po niya kaya para ma-emphasize yun ang atong flag. So, the national flag shall be flown at half mass as a sign of uh, mourning on all the buildings and places where it is displayed as provided on the day of the official announcement of the death of, the, of any of the following officials. So, the president or a former president for 10 days. Kato naman tayo si former president Noni Aquino, it was uh, on half mass for 10 days. So the Vice President, the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court, the President of the Senate and the Speaker of the House for 7 days. So Cabinet Members naman, so Cabinet Secretaries, Associate Justices of the Supreme Court, Members of the Senate and House of Representatives, the Chief of Staffs of the Armed Forces of the Philippines for 5 days. So dili siya pare-pareho, depende na sa, sa rango. So Presidente, 10 days. Vice President, and the rest is seven days. Cabinet Secretaries, and the rest for five days. So the national flag, when flown at half mass, shall be first hoisted to the peak for a moment, then lowered to the half mass position. So, ang ato ang style sa high manggod, kung dunay ko mag half mass ta, ato lang diritsyo sa sa tunga dayon. So, ang ang dapat gili buhato na ni, it pataas gila si daan before na to, he lowers half mass. So the national flag shall be permanently hoisted at half mass day and night throughout the year in all memorial cemeteries dedicated to war veterans like at the Mausoleo de los Veteranos de la Revolución makita ni siya sa North Cemetery sa Manila the tomb of the unknown soldier sa libingan ng mga bayani sa Fort Bonifacio Taguig So the national flag may be used to cover the caskets of honored dead of the military veterans of previous wars national artists and of civilians who have rendered distinguished service to the nation. So, muna siya. Dapat, kung kinsa nagyong tagaan na ito, kung nabitaw doon na mga namatay, ibuta ang atong flag sa ibabaw silang lungon. So, nanata sa national anthem na sa lupang hinirang. On the national anthem, the code expressly prescribed that its rendition, whether played or sung, shall be in accordance with the musical arrangement and composition of Julian Felipe. The proper tempo is at 2, 4, 10, 100 metronomes and that the anthem should be at least 53 seconds. Di la basta basta kay during fight mangun din Pacquiao o kaysa kaysa ng mga mga international events. Doon ay Pilipino mo kanta po kagaya ni Regine Velasquez. Gikanta niya to very slow. So di na siya pwede. In fact, katong isa kasi hinger dito nga gi Financial cast, kaya katong pag-away ni Pacquiao, ang style siya pagkanta, mura ka na bitang solemn kayo nga dapat doon na siya, doon na siya ay tempo ko ginasunod, na two-fourth yun na, and 100 metronomes. So, as a sign of respect, all persons just stand at attention and face the Philippine flag. So, when the national anthem is played in public gathering, 
whether by a band or singing or both, the attending public shall sing with fervor. Kaya yung ausay mo magplug sa ceremony ta. Hinay kito nito ng dapat with fervor yun. Bayang magiliw. Ano nta ba? Ang ata halos buong na lang. Pero pagkantahan nag pagkantahan nag kana sa mga video kyan. Magiliw pag microphone. So dapat mukanta kita sa ato ang national anthem dapat nindot kaya ato pagka render gina niya so at first note all persons shall execute a salute by placing the right palm over your left chest those in the military scouting shall give their prescribed salute so makita ano tayo siya during during Independence Day di ba before butukar ang pay ang pampasang awit ang pay ang magiliw ang first nga ng line is pay ang magiliw dapat Doon ay drums, rolling drums. Dili pa tamo na sa itong satuang kuwan, sa itong uh, right palm over our left chest. Dapat, pag start nyo sa letter B nga ba, and before tamo na da yun. Dili kay, pag rolling pa lang sa drum, mo na tadaan, that is wrong. So, Penal Provisions of Republic Act 8491. So, the following are some of the prohibited acts with respect to the flag. To mutilate, kadot na nga, to mutilate, deface, defile, trample, cast contempt, or commit on the flag or any act of omission that casts dishonor or ridicule upon the flag over its surface. Thus, it is illegal to burn the Philippine flag during rallies. Mone siya nakita na ito kasagaran na ka nag-rally sa Manila ang atong flag ginasunog nila sa mga Amerika. Ang kanila mga flag ginasunog yun pero I don't think na doon na pa ni napriso ano niya kay Mura maguli siya, uh, politika, politically motivated siya eh. Gawa siguro kung ka na nagsunog ka na, kato siguro mga NPA or whatever, mura kato siguro siya. So, the next is to dip the flag to any person or object by way of compliment or salute. Kone siya ang kasagaran ng kitaan, kanabit ang dunay track and field sa sa international events. Pagkahaman og daga na na, kanakadaw ka Philippines o nakatar, baka siya, ihade yung ipurong ang flag sa yung baga o sa yung ulo, anak. That is wrong. So to wear the flag in whole or part as a costume or uniform. Oh, kasagaran na ito, honey. Doon na tayo, basketball team. Magbutang-butang rin tayo mga stars o mga flag na rin nga. It looks like a flag, pero t-shirt na siya or unsa mga galing siya din ha. So this, bawal po na siya. So to print, paint, or attach a representation of flag sa handkerchiefs, napkins, or other merchandise. Niya, karun na ba is election time, hapit na yun, magsugod. So, daghan ng politiko, mag-distribute ng mga pabay-pay, nga doon ay flag-flag din nga design, mga t-shirts, mga panyo, mga unsa pagaling, bisag sila nagbugas, ipanghatag din lang mga, i-distribute lang mga 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 pagkaon sa dina. Butangan lang nga lang with matching flag. That is wrong. That's a violation of RA8491. So, to display in public or foreign any foreign flag except in embassies and other diplomatic establishments. <clears throat> so, the, penal, the other penal provisions on the Philippine National Anthem. The anthem shall not be played as sung for mere recreation, amusement, or entertainment purposes except on some occasions. Say so international competitions where the Philippines is the host or has representative, local competitions, during signing off and signing on of radio, broadcasting, and television station. So this happens katong nagsira ang ABS-CBN. That was the last time na inagpatukas sila sa ilang flag during signing off. Before initial and last screening of films or before the opening of theater performances. Kaysa una, mahilig kong tanaw sini. Before you mag-start ka nabitang sa primero, sa first showing, mutukar gin ang Philippine National Anthem. Then, mutukar pa siya ang utro pagka last showing na po. So, Bonin siya. Ang violation siya ni violator shall upon conviction be punished with a fine of between 5,000 pesos and 20,000 pesos imprisonment of not more than a year or both. So that ends sa napatid sa a man is a patriot if his heart beats true to his country. Written by Charles E. Jefferson. So this ends my presentation. Mabuk na dito kayo. Any questions? So, ha ha ha.